<laughs> hey everyone, welcome to Pastor Chef today. Duncan, it's great to see you, mate. You too, Andy. How are you? Who mate? do we have here? This is my lovely wife, Julia. So good, Julia. Welcome to Pastor Chef. Tell us, what are we cooking today? We're making chicken spring rolls today. Yes, I love it. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, guys, so today, as we mentioned, Julia is going to be making some beautiful Thai spring rolls. Before we do that, Andy, I'm just going to make a simple filling, mm -hmm. and then you guys can do the, the hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dunk. A little bit of white pepper. Because making spring rolls, you need nice, delicate fingers yep. like Julia. My fingers are like tree stumps. <laughs> now, you did say these are chicken spring rolls. You've got yes. some chicken mince in the pole there. So we've got about 500 grams of uh, minced chicken, yep. some pepper, some spring onion, a little bit of white cabbage, uh, just finely shredded. Bit of wombok. Bit of wombok. Yeah, nice. <laughs> a seasoning and just some soy. And please feel free to tell me. If... No, 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 it's okay. You're doing good. Now, Julia, while Duncan's doing that, you are a chef yourself, correct? I am. You yes. are. So if Duncan's making a mistake here, you're just going to discreetly correct him. Is that right? Mm, not really. I'm <laughs> just, just going to be like making a little suggestion, but I won't. <laughs> She'll be making mental notes for later. She'll be, she'll be telling me later when I get home. <laughs> no. It's like too much pepper. <laughs> so what? So what were the sauces you put in? So a little bit of soy sauce and yep. a little bit of oyster sauce, just to give it some sort of depth and richness. Yep. Okay. And then just a little bit of carrot here. This is a really fine grater. Uh -huh. And uh, just some carrot, and we just take that through like that. So just worth noting at this point, obviously you say a little bit of sauce, but all of the uh, many the ingredients are in the description of every video. Yep, that's right. And we always try and do these things so you can make them at home yourself. So have a crack at the spring rolls. And this is one of those dishes where you can add or change different bits and pieces as you go. Absolutely. And uh, what else could you put into a spring roll? Mm. Um, you can this. put celery. Um, what else you can put in there? Um, use a different type of meat? Yeah. Or, or do yeah, a veggie use, spring rolls? Uh, yeah, that's right. You can use pork or yep. um, prawns or yep. vegetables. Do people yeah. do beef spring rolls? Would you use beef mince in a spring roll or not so much? Not so much. You want a white meat also? Yeah. yeah, okay, great. How's that looking, darling? Amazing. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, so far, so good. Well so, done, darling. Well I've done. just used a glove to do this so that you can really mix it well and get all the ingredients well combined. Yep. Yeah. It is a good idea also just to take a small amount of this mixture and you can fry it in a fry pan first and taste it ah. and you can check the seasoning if you're happy with it. Yeah. I feel fairly confident. Yeah. Good tip. Yeah. So at this point, Andy, yeah. my job's done. Ah, <laughs> you're finished. <laughs> you you have enjoyed giving me the messy part of this again, haven't you? The challenge me who is loves getting my hands messy. The challenge is now up to you guys. <laughs> Absolutely. Excellent. All right, Julia. What are we doing now? So we can get um, this spring roll pastry yep. in the freezer. Yep, so you, you buy that from the supermarket? Supermarket, anywhere. Yep. From the freezer, you can use two sheets or you can use one. Do you want me to I'm grab one now? One. Yes, please. You just peel. Let me see if I can use these tree stumps that I've got. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thanks. It's quite Doing well so far. <laughs> Let the master do it. Let the master do it. Okay, the one sheet, it's come off. Excellent, thank you. All right, spring roll sheet. Yep, so, and then we get the mixture. Yep. With the, uh, with the spring roll, just turn it around diagonal, mate. That's yep. it. There we go. So the point's facing you. Thanks, Dunk. And then you put the mixture just below the, the half bit. Yep. Right. You can all see that up the top and you can see what we're doing. <laughs> you all lift up the lift up this corner. Yes. And then go to like above the center and you pull it yes. toward yourself. And then you just shape it at how how long you want it to be. Oh, so I shape the meat yes. down into shape a little yeah. little meat cigar. Is well. that what it is? Meat yes. cigar? You are yes. doing really well. Okay, good. You're <laughs> doing an amazing job. And then good teacher. for Whatever left, right, first doesn't matter. Yes. Corner in and the other corner. So you can actually from here, you can you know choose how long or short you want your spring roll to be. Yeah. I'll, I'll point out just also, Andy, that there's a 90 degree angle here, which is really important. That so, angle there. Yep. Yeah. Great. Yep. Yeah. That's a that's perfect. Am I going okay so far? Yep. Yeah. All right. You're going very well. And then you just roll, use your finger to roll it up yes. like that, and then 
To seal it, you just use What's this? It's a flour and water. Just a little bit. Of yeah, make a paste. If you don't, you can use egg yolk or whatever. Uh -huh. And just then just roll water. over yeah. the top. Oh, wow. Yours look at, looking better than mine. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Actually, yours no, is really actually good. looking <laughs> much better than mine. I was you know, born guys, for this. Before starting today, I was quietly just hoping for Andy's just to not work. <laughs> but it worked so well. <laughs> Look, we're the first one down. Let's just see how we go. Yeah. All right, it's great. It's all uphill from here. But Julia, I want to ask you a, a question yes. about your lovely husband over there. But both being it that you were both oh my gosh I'm gonna muck this up big time no now. you'll be fine no, I don't know. <laughs> um, being that you are both chefs what is your favorite dish that Duncan makes what is what is the your out of all the dishes that Duncan makes what is the fav your favorite um, he makes very good um, pandan flavor vanilla slice. I wasn't expecting you to say that one. <laughs> is that so? Is that like a dessert. Thai vanilla slice? Uh, it's a Western dessert, like a vanilla slice, but just add the pandan flavor. Mm, okay, all right. It's really good. Well, mm -hmm. if you if you want to suggest that to us on Pasta Chef, or if you you feel like we should make that, then let us know in the comments below, and we will have a crack. Duncan, would you be happy to teach people that, or is that trade secrets? Um, no, there's no trade secrets. I'm happy to be an open book. Um, but yeah, we can certainly do a vanilla slice one day. Oh. All right, well, comment below if you want us to do a vanilla slice sometime. Mm -hmm. um, but Jules... Uh, Jules. Do people call you Jules? Yes, sometimes. So, Julia. Yes. <laughs> I want to ask you a question about Duncan. And knowing, knowing Duncan a little bit better than probably I did you know, a year ago, really, uh, I know that the Christian faith for him, as you keep, you can keep going, because okay. I just can't do it and talk at the same time, <laughs> okay. but you probably can yeah, do sure, everything sure, at I the can, same yes. time. <laughs> um, knowing Duncan the way that you do, uh, you know that his Christian walk or his faith with Jesus has been different over that period of time. But you have always been a prayer and you have prayed for your husband. And I want to ask you uh, and maybe for you to share with everyone how, how you've gone that, through that process of praying for your husband and the growth of his faith over time. Absolutely. Um, I know that Duncan really loved me very much yeah. when we got married. So he... When I asked him, like, would you come to church with me and all that, I know that he would just say yes because he loved me mm. and he just wanted to be with me. So he come along and all that. But I knew that, I always knew that he he wasn't really a believer yet. Right. You know, from, I just knew, you know. And um, over the years, and then I start to see the changing and when he start to believe, mm. So Julia, what, what did you see that changed in Duncan's life over that time? It's, uh, it's a big change. I uh, see now that um, in the past, whatever he wanted to do, you know, he would come up with the idea and went about and do things. Mm. And well, it was good result, it was successful, whatever the term you would use, but didn't have that much joy and peace in it. It no. just, you know, it's just more like a task. You do it and, but I didn't feel the joy, mm. the peace, the happiness in it. Mm. I think that's a risk for, for all of us sometimes is yeah. that we go about doing things in our own strength because we are trying to build something, but we can do that. And if we get a good result of that, mm. that's a good thing. But yes. we can lose our joy sometimes when we're working in our own strength. Exactly. And so you saw him trusting in God yes. more through that time. Yes. And so for you, Dunk, through yep. that time as well, is that is that the way that you're feeling? Absolutely. What Julia said is that everything I was doing, <clears throat> I was doing very much for myself. Like it was like, I want this to go this way and I need to do X, Y, Z to get there. Mm. And if it didn't exactly happen how I saw it, yeah. I'd be disappointed. Yeah. yeah. And if I did achieve it, I'd feel proud of myself. Mm. But finding God and putting Him first, I just only have to say, God, whatever you want mm. is what I'm happy to do. Yeah. And whatever the end result, I know that you're in charge. Yeah. So from that point on, you'd, you'd ask for God's you know, guidance and you'd go for it. 
and then you just trust that what you're doing is right for him because you're putting him first. Mm, yes. It's great. So and what, that's the biggest change because it was always about me. Yeah. So what would you say from both of your points of view? If someone if someone's listening and they're they're saying, "Hey, I want to give that a try," like, or well, not even give it a try, but I'm I'm actually on this journey myself. How do I trust in God more? What would you say to that person? Well, me. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Um, like everything that you do, when you put God first, you know that you don't have to, you know, do all those, you know, shows of string all by yourself and yeah. go. You know that God is always back you up and He is always with you and He will guide you. And along that process, that you have definitely peace mm. to go ahead and do things. And you know that if somehow it's not turned out the way that you want it to be, mm. You know that you're not alone. Mm. You yeah. know that he has a better plan for you and always back you up. So good. I think what really helps in these situations, if you're trying to that or you're learning how to trust God more, is to do it around other people who mm. can help build your faith as well. Mm. They yes. remind you that God is indeed trustworthy. Mm. He yeah. is faithful. And that's why we're able to do life within church community as well, because we can talk about these things and spur each other on yeah. when it comes to things of faith. And, you know, Andy, if I could just interject here yeah. with um, something so special about Julia in my life is her, as you mentioned before about praying, is just her constantly reminding me to pray. Yeah. I and mean, it is just such a thing I... <laughs> <laughs> that's so yeah, I that. Good, that's perfect. I got a little it's bit. It's just too. something I forget to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, um, and I don't do it enough. And Julia said, you can pray for the smallest things. And I always used to want to pray for the biggest things. Yeah. <laughs> and then Julia said, just pray that you can do your shoelaces right. I mean, just the simple yeah, things. Just yeah, pray yeah, yeah. regularly for little things. Yeah. And it's amazing when you put prayer into the smaller things that your heart faith grows stronger in every other prayer. So good. You know so, what I mean? Yeah, love it. And and you start to see the results and then you start to see how good God is. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Really good. We've think, made a lot of spring rolls. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> look, at, look at this. We've done great. It's a competition. Um, obviously, we've got a bit more to do here, but Duncan, what is the next step when it comes to the spring rolls now that you've made enough that you need to make? Well, okay. So again, spring rolls are a great thing to do with the family because you can all sit there and talk like we have been. And yeah, you can make great. hundreds of them, keep them frozen. You don't have to cook them all at once. Julia makes spring rolls at home and fills up I, a big container. I, yeah, look, that's the way to do it. That's the way to not get sticky hands. <laughs> Love it. All right, great. She keeps them frozen and actually cooks them from frozen. Yes. So basically what we're going to do, guys, is get out. we've got enough spring rolls here, all slightly different shapes. Um, <laughs> Thanks Julia's, for that. Julia's beautiful and thin. No, Mine's no, no, short no. and fat like my fingers. <laughs> And Andy's, mate, they're looking just splendid. Your family's Look, going to be so impressed. Wrap them up tight enough that yeah. you get away with a bunch of things. So I'm just going to set up a deep fryer over here. And <laughs> not so good, that one. <laughs> We've got a deep fryer set up over here, 180 degrees. You can cook it at home just in a small pot of oil. I'm going to go turn that deep fryer on, cook them until they're golden and crunchy, about eight minutes. And then we're going to present them for you. Beautiful. Let's see what they look like. Okay, guys, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> look at that dunk. Beautiful, fresh, mm. crunchy Thai spring rolls. They look absolutely delicious. Yeah, they do. You've done well, mate. Oh, thank you, mate. Thank you very much. Which this one's was, yours? I'm surprised, actually. Um, all the, all the probably the worst ones are mine. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm surprised how easy this was and really achievable for people at home. Absolutely. To do with some family or some friends, and you can interchange some things in this. So have a try at home. Absolutely. Now, while these are tie spring rolls, we always like to do a bit of a twist. This is not my twist. This is a, an old one, but this is actually a Vietnamese twist. Ah. So when we eat spring rolls at a Vietnamese restaurant, they often sell them with this. So just some fresh, crunchy iceberg lettuce. Mm -hmm and some mint mm. and what you can do is you can take some of that lettuce throw in some mint leaves just whole mm -hmm. a spring roll mm -hmm. and then wrap it up and over here i've just got some sweet chili uh, with a little bit of coriander in it i won't double dip okay, okay. okay. <laughs> <It's done. laughs> but when you do that you get this lovely crunch and the mint mm. oh mm. So good. <laughs> Tell us about it. <laughs> oh, God. Um, hmm. I would love one. I'm just not going to eat it on camera like this. I'm going to have okay. one afterwards. Okay. okay. 
<laughs> so give it a try at home. And Julia, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us thank today. A round of applause for Julia. No, oh, you don't have to round applause okay. yourself. <laughs> um, but to leave everyone with one thing, I just want to ask you, if there's people at home that have been praying for a loved one for a little while, maybe not seeing what they want to see happen, what would you say to them? Just keep on praying and just don't give up. Just keep praying for them. And God always hear you and he will, you know, he will definitely answer your prayer. Amen to that. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us for Pastor Chef. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to our channel, let someone know and enjoy some spring rolls. And we will... Yes. <laughs> See you in the next one. See you in the next one. I have one now. <laughs>